Hello and welcome to Behind Closed Doors with me, Dr. Bob Stone. Today, we're going to be talking to Captain Coivus about life on the high seas. And he also claims to be immortal. The captain is from the Caribbean. Uh, that's this little place uh, right here. I think it's where pirates come from. Hello, Captain. Oh, you are. You be having nice titties. Oh, ahoy, Dr. Stone. How are you be doing today? I'm doing well, Captain. Uh, oh, uh, I can see you're on a ship. Hi, Dr. Stone. We be on our sloop called the Pearl Necklace. We be anchored somewhere off the coast of La Pascua de las Flores. Where is that? I think you be now calling it Florida. Okay, so we'll be talking about a pirate's life on the high seas. But first, you claim that you're immortal. I, I be alive now for, uh, uh, what year it be? The year of our Lord, 2024. Ah, 350 years. 350 years? I, Dr. Stone. How and why are you immortal? We dropped anchor at a port called Salem. Went ashore for some R&R. &R, where I be visiting a house of ill repute. I spent some time with a wench called Griselda. It was my blunder. I left her without recompense. How was I to know she'd be a witch? I've been now cursed. Oh, can the curse be broken? Alas, I believe no, Dr. Stone. She be burnt at the stake, allegedly. I'd be destined to sail the high seas for perpetuity. Okay, uh, I bet you've seen some changes over the years. Ooh, ah, I have, but the seas never change, and there'll be always treasure to be plundered. <laughs> so it's true, you plunder and pillage. I, Dr. Stone, that be what pirates do. Okay, yeah. so... How does a pirate begin his day? A gentleman never rises before noon, unless inspired to an earlier rising by the lady whose perfume bed he shares. If she is especially good, he'll rise again. If ye know what I mean, Dr. Stone. So, uh, what are your plans for today? Soon, we'll be hoisting the main sail and heading toward Oak Island. That be where I buried me booty. Arr. I've heard of Oak Island. They've been looking for that treasure for years, but never found anything. That be because they be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> so, um, where is the treasure exactly? 
I will not be telling ye that, Dr. Stone, but I be giving ye a riddle in the stead. There be a house no longer standing, where the wenches be demanding. Booty was spent and booty was given. There be no map. Below the clam shack is where it be hidden. It's buried under a brothel. Well surmised, Dr. Stone, but I be saying no more. Okay, so what kind of treasure is it? It be the usual hoard of gold and jewels, and a few uh, toys. Toys. I, Dr. Stone, not only we be plundering booty, I be collecting phallic delettos, that be Italian for phallic delights, or ye be calling them dildos. Oh, okay, there I ask. Can we see some of your collection? Aye, Dr. Stone. But first, I be wanting refreshment. Wench, get me a flagon of rum, and not that grog I be given the crew. These be other toys I be collecting. <laughs> oh, this be a wooden deletto. I be getting this from the port of Venice, Italy. Oh, this one be giving me splinters. Thank you. Down the hatch. <sighs> that be good rum. a feisty wench. What else can I be showing ye? So they cannot be getting away. How do they be wearing these breeches? They be looking mighty astringent, if you ask me. Mm. Oh, that be Jezebel from the port of Southampton. <sighs> Where be the backs of dildos? Oh, here it be. (sighs) 
this one be from the port of Tokyo, Japan. This be called a rabbit because it be having rabbit ears. I think it be for the tickling. This, ye know what it be. <laughs> These be for invading both fore and aft. <laughs> Strange be this one. I know not where I acquired this dildo. Oh. Oh. There she blows. Oh. I'd be thinking this one be going round corners. <sighs> Batten down the hatches. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. oh. And this one. I'd be having no idea what it be. I'd be thinking these be headphones for a rat. <laughs> Acquiring this one for oneself from the ports of Hong Kong, China. Oh, Twas not a good fit. Then I be getting this one made to measure from the ports of Kingston, Jamaica. Of course, oh, shiver me timbers. <laughs> Thank you for uh, showing us your collection. So, how do you spend your time on a long voyage? Ah, that be a good question. I be not only a buccaneer, I be also a puppeteer. My lovely, ye be looking to entertain a sailor this evening. Are ye talking to me? Of course I be talking to ye. Ye look mighty fine. Oh, oh thank ye, Captain. Mm, may I be using your services? Oh, I be not a loose woman. Oh. Uh, just for ye, do as you will. Well, there you have it. That was Captain Coilus talking about his adventures on the high seas. Join me again next time when we talk to people from around the world about their topic on Behind Closed Doors with me, Dr. Bob Stone. Oor. 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 Oor.